Bienvenidos a Film de Semana. Comenzamos este listado con una recomendación que ha sido nombrada por los críticos como una de las mejores comedias del verano. Llega Joyride a cines. Joyride es la comedia con clasificación R que presenta un fantástico cuarteto de celebridades. Ashley Park, Stephanie Tsu, Cherry Cola y Sabrina Wu, quien interpretan a un diverso grupo de asiático-estadounidenses que se encuentran en China y se involucran en todo tipo de cosas y travesuras extravagantes. Con mucho humor, risas, lágrimas y fracasos, esta comedia comenta la necesidad de aceptar nuestras verdaderas identidades y el verdadero significado de la amistad. Y si eres fanático de los thrillers, esta película es para ti. Es una de las películas más esperadas del verano y hoy tengo el gran placer de conversar con su director y protagonista, Patrick Wilson, acerca de Insidious The Red Door. Hey Patrick, how are you doing? Thank you so much for your time. Of course, good to see you. Thank you. Let's start talking about your experience as a director and an actor at the same time. How did it feel to step behind the camera for this project? Be, be, behind and in front. I was on both sides. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it felt it, 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 it's at times pretty overwhelming, you know, wearing a lot of hats. Um, but I love it. I love the challenge. I, I wanted to push myself. I don't like to do things that are easy. So this <laughs> this worked out. This worked out well, for sure. That's amazing. So I'm curious, what initially drew you to the horror genre and what continues to attract you to it? Sure, sure. Well, you know, honestly, the first Insidious movie, if I think about the, the movies that I've done, the, the horror films, it all started with Insidious. And I, when I read it and I spoke, I spoke to James Wan, the director, um, I knew that it just felt different. It felt, I really admired what he was doing in the genre. This is the, you know, the guys that created Saw, all of a sudden were creating this PG-13 uh, movie where the, They think the house is haunted and they move. And I was like, no one ever moves from a haunted house. This is crazy. And then you find out it's the sun. And it kept it just like this onion peeling throughout the whole movie. And I and I really loved it. I loved the structure of it. It was so tiny and small. It was shot for under a million dollars. And um and the fact and 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 it made me just fall in love with the genre. So I knew if we got that one right, we'd come back and do the second one. Uh, and then somewhere in the middle of that, James asked me to do The Conjuring uh, uh, at the same time. So all of a sudden I thought, wow, am I gonna do two franchises with the same director? Uh, I guess so, here we go. So, uh, you know, the reality is if they weren't successful, we wouldn't have been back to two, three, four, five, all of that. So. Um, yes, it was, it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. As an actor, how did you balance the psychological aspects of the horror with the physical demands of the genre? Right, right. Um, yeah, because acting in horror movies is not, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's exhausting. It is. It's, I'm not going to lie. I mean, listen, I, we've got a pretty, cushy life and I'm not, you know, digging a ditch somewhere. So I'm, I'm certainly blessed. Um, but I, but it's, I think because it, acting in horror movies, it's, it's a, it's a tall order. To, you know, you've got to, you've got to be, uh, you've got to be sincere. You've got to be melodramatic. You've got to be scared. You've got to be loving. It's, it's every, it's very heightened. So it's a, it does take an emotional toll, especially on a movie like this, that uh, you're dealing with a lot of family uh, trauma. You know, so it's it's it, it got pretty um, uh, emotionally exhausting, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something very cathartic for the audience and for these characters, and to really get invested in what in their struggle. Um, so that was that was that's really even though usually the most difficult parts are the most rewarding. So that was certainly most you know the most rewarding side of this for me is that emotional uh, release that I think the film has. So I'm gonna finish with this. And in your opinion, Patrick, what makes the Red Door in Insidious memorable or unique compared to other horror movie elements? Right, right. Um, I think it's got a. It's we've got a really interesting blend of different types of scares uh, that are new even for the Insidious world. So that was exciting for me. Um, and at the end of the day, it's a you've got a father-son story, um, and 
you see a family going through a struggle and how they relate and work through their own uh, trauma and traumatic events. Um, so I think it's really relatable as people. And then of course, it's just uh, exciting and scary and hopefully we'll induce some nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much, Patrick, for your You're time welcome. again and congratulations for your Thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> thank you. It. The further you travel, the riskier your journey will become. del romance ya está en cines Vidas Pasadas. Con muy buenas calificaciones y críticas, Vidas Pasadas es una historia melancólica sobre dos personas, los niños que eran y los adultos en los que se convierten. La película lo sigue a través de los años y a través de una variedad de reuniones, separaciones y continentes, así como acontecimientos trascendentales y ordinarios. Es una historia de amistad, amor, arrepentimiento y lo que realmente significa vivir aquí y ahora. La historia sigue a Nora, quien está en Estados Unidos y tiene una relación feliz y saludable con un hombre blanco estadounidense. Mientras tanto, Hai Sung se ha quedado en Corea del Sur. Nora le presenta a la audiencia el concepto de In Jung, algo que será parte integral de la trama, lo que significa que Nora descarta el destino como una táctica utilizada por los coreanos para atraer la gente, pero resulta ser real. Básicamente, si dos extraños caminan junto al lado del otro en la calle y sus ropas se rozan accidentalmente, eso significa que ha habido 8000 capas de In Jung entre ellos. Estamos todos conectados. Vidas pasadas podrás verla en cines. Ahora ya sabes cuál es el plan perfecto para este fin de semana. Yo soy Luisa Rangel y esto es Fin de Semana.